All right, well, we've been talking about it all morning, and now it's finally time. Yeah, Watford excited. City dedicated its new high school yesterday, and today is the first day of classes. Nick Amantangelo is up early for the opening of the brand new school. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, guys. Hope things are going well for you and for everyone in our viewing area. Now, in a few short hours, this place behind me will be packed with students for the very first time. Yesterday was the ribbon cutting with plenty of state dignitaries on hand. Governor Jack Dalrymple, First Lady Betsy Dalrymple, Senator John Hoven, and State Superintendent Kirsten Baszler were just a few of those on hand for the celebration. After the ribbon cutting, students and parents were able to get a full tour to see for themselves the $53 million building. And it was impressive to everyone that took the tour. If you get a chance to see the library, uh, you have the best view of the landscape from that library that I think I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's a remarkable place. I hope the students can concentrate because uh, in just about every room, uh, you have a fantastic view of Western North Dakota. And joining me now is Mr. Terry Vanderpan. He is the principal of Watford City High School. Now, Mr. Vanderpan, what can you say about this building? It's a um, state-of-the-art building. It was designed in a, uh, a college-type uh, uh, fashion with, um, I think, approximately 167,000 square feet. Um, state-of-the-art uh, uh, collaborative-type areas where uh, students will be able to uh, uh, meet and uh, work on projects and, and similar things. It's high tech. The classrooms all have interactive uh, TVs and uh, um, um, high tech. It, and uh, as, as was seen by the uh, open house we had yesterday, uh, I think about 1,200 people showed up for that. And at the district girls basketball team or game last night, we had uh, you know probably close to 1,300 people. So the community is excited, as are the staff uh, and students and administration. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being with me this morning, Mr. Vanderpan, and we'll be here all day providing you updates, so stay with us. Nick, thank you so much. That school looked beautiful. Yeah, it, I'm excited. It totally did. All right. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Noon Report. I'm Amanda Scripcheck. Today is Tuesday, February 16th. Well, a new high school opened in Watford City this morning, and Nick Amantangel has been there even before the first bell rang. He joins us now with more. Nick. Good afternoon, Amanda. It is truly an historic day here in Watford. For the first time in about 30 years, a new high school was opened here this morning. And the excitement is electric here on campus. While school didn't start until nearly 8.30, some students were in the building by 7 a.m. Members of the student council gave kids their new schedules, locker numbers, and combinations. After a brief assembly with District Superintendent Steve Holen and Principal Terry Vanderpan, students were led on a guided tour of the new building so they could see how to best navigate their new environment. After that, it was time for class to officially start. And I'll have so much more from here in Watford in our evening newscast, so be sure to check back with us then. Amanda? All right, thank you, Nick. This is First News at 5. Today marked the first day of classes at Watford City's new high school. Nick Amatangelo joins us now with more, Nick. Kristen, it's been said that first impressions can be the ones that last the longest. For these students that spent the first day in the new school, their first impressions will be hard to top. I was like really surprised at how big it was and like I was um, like, it was so awesome. It's like very nice and I'm so honored to be um, one of the first students in this awesome building and I'm just, I can't wait. Um, when I first walked in here, it's huge and I, it feels like a college campus to me. It's amazing and the environment is completely different than our other high school. The gym's a lot nicer than our old gym. And it's more of an open building. I'll have more on this coming up tonight at 6. Kevin? All right, thanks, Nick. All day we've been talking about the opening of Watford City's new high school. Good evening and welcome to your local news. I'm Nick Amatangelo. Now that the first day of school is officially in the books, a new normal will start to settle in. Despite numerous upgrades to the facilities and classrooms, that still may take some time. Teachers have spent the better part of two months packing everything from their rooms to be brought over to the new school. 
and it may take some time to go through all the boxes to find exactly what they're looking for. I told the kids, bear with me. I might not know where it is today, but by tomorrow I might be able to find it, um, especially with teaching lab sciences and the materials we need. Um, we're getting ready for Science Olympiad competition, and that comes with a lot of challenges. But the slight confusion is well worth it for all of the benefits the new school brings. First day of classes at the new Watford City High School today, KUMV's Nick Amatangelo joins us live now to tell us how students handled the big day. Nick. Baja, big day on a big campus with a brand new 165,000 square foot school to navigate. Students had their work cut out for them. Luckily, they had members of the student council to help them out. Members gave them schedules at the beginning of the day. Then, following an assembly, the council led guided tours of the building to help students get their bearings in their new domain. Leading the tours left an impact on some. It's amazing. It's so nice to see their reaction and get to be able to be a part of something and show them that the big opportunities we have and how thankful that we should be that we get this brand new school that we get to enjoy and learn in. The student council also spent the day helping their peers out as necessary. Baja? All right, thanks a lot for that, Watford Nick. City's new high school is open, but the construction crew isn't finished yet. The 500-seat auditorium is still being built. Since it wasn't necessary for academics, it wasn't a top priority to be completed when classes started. The continued work will not interrupt anything going on at school. They have committed to working after hours only, weekends only. Uh, we're not going to crisscross construction and students, and that was a concern. So, uh, so we think we come up with something really that will work really well. Um, there will be no impact on education, and we'll be able to make some timelines. So. The auditorium is expected to be finished in April. Watford City's new high school is open. Good evening, and welcome to your local news. I'm Nick Amatangelo. I spent the morning there to see how the first day went. All day, the atmosphere was electric. It was very um, um, exciting to see the, the students this morning when they came in. They were here at uh, 6.45, and I mean, we don't start school till you know, 8.15, 8.20. Students couldn't wait to get their first look at their new school. First walked in here, it's huge, and I, it feels like a college campus to me. It's amazing. It should be a part of history. I don't know if you understand that now at your age. But this is a historic day for this community. After a brief assembly, members of the student council led tours of the building so students could learn the layout. It's amazing. It's so nice to see their reaction and get to be able to be a part of something and show them that the big opportunities we have and how thankful that we should be that we get this brand new school that we get to enjoy and learn in. Then it was time for class. But some teachers still have work to do before they're completely adjusted. It's going to be a process. Uh, it took us probably two months to get everything packed up, and I would imagine it'll take us every bit of two months to finally get settled and get everything unpacked. But once that happens, officials think the sky is the limit to the education students can now receive. It's a world-class facility, and we want to be, become a world-class school with uh, uh, outstanding curriculum, and, uh, and we have the, the facility to do that now. While the Bakken has grabbed the energy headlines, Watford City's new high school is hoping to grab the education ones. And while school now continues as usual, the auditorium still is yet to be finished. That's scheduled to be done in April. 